Hey, welcome on in to the Sports Forum Radio Show here on 98.1 FM Mile High Sports Radio. We're jumping straight into the action today, though. No time to waste. We are joined by associate head coach and offensive coordinator at Colorado State University, Mr. Matt Mummy. Coach, it is good to see you today. Thanks for some of your time. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, man. It's game week. We're excited and, you know, really appreciate you having me on and having this opportunity to get to talk some ball. Absolutely. Always fun talking some ball. Like you said, game week. I got my Rams on. I'm ready to go today. Going to be fun this weekend. But before we get into this game, I love to figure out where coaches kind of got the love for football, where it all came from. I know you played back, obviously, in high school. You played quarterback at the University of Kentucky under your dad. So can you just kind of explain to everybody how you got into football and, and why it means so much to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, of course, we run the air raid and everybody, you know, almost everybody in the nation knows about air raid now. But, you know, and I tell people, I mean, hey, I grew up air raid. This is all I know, you know, so, if, you know, there was never really going to be another point in my life or my career that I would actually run some other offense. I think, it, you know, I would lose my family card to <laughs> Thanksgiving, you know, if, if I changed to like yep. the triple option or something. So but no, I mean you know, I grew up doing this stuff and, you know, grew up in a football world where my dad was a coach and we moved around quite a bit and, you know, Colorado has been awesome. It makes my ninth state, you know, hmm. so this is my 16th move. Um, so the coaching life is, you know, a little bit similar to military life. You move around quite a bit, but um, I always knew growing up, even as a little kid that, you know, I just always wanted to play, in the system that my dad invented. And so that's mm -hmm. kind of where my, my love and my passion for the offense and the schematics of what we do came from. And you just brought up the air raid. I had to ask you about it. I know you are an air raid enthusiast, if you would. Why the air raid? Do you just love that it's exciting and it's big point scoring and it's big plays? Like, Are you just, what is it about air raid that makes you love it outside of growing up in it? I mean, I really, I really think it's, what it always did was it made the game fun. It made, mm -hmm. it made it fun for me, but it's made it fun for all those young men that I've coached over my 21 years of doing this. So you attract, you know, you attract quarterbacks and you attract receivers naturally to the system. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you teach, you teach running backs that, Hey, you'd rather be a running back in our system than any other system because you're kind of that most valuable player. You're going to, you're going to run the ball. You're going to catch the ball in the backfield. You'll be able to block. And that's what NFL school, you know, NFL teams look for. So, it, you know, it's, it, it's just a, it's an entertaining system and it's a lot of fun as a player to be in. It's a lot of fun as a coach to coach it. And you just mentioned that a lot of players are enjoying it. You have 10 all conference quarterbacks and wide receivers in your time. So I'm pretty sure they are definitely enjoying it. Definitely reaping the rewards from that. But you came over with head coach Jay Norvell a couple of years back from Nevada, December 2021, when you guys got hired. How is life different up at Colorado State compared to Nevada? Um, you know, I tell, I tell you, it's 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 been exciting being here. The hunger for good football in Fort Collins is absolutely impressive. And, you know, I tell you what, our fans are showing out. It looks like we're really close to being a sellout for this first game this year against Washington State on Saturday. So, mm. I mean, just to see the enthusiasm around town and, and, you know, and that's, you know, let's be honest, these, these young men are in college. They got a lot of things to balance. They're playing football, but Saturdays is what it's all about. And they want to run out of that tunnel and they want to see a packed crowd and, and, and entertain people and, and put a good product on the field. So, you know, it's been a lot of fun being here over the last year. And golly, what's it been a year and a half, a little over a year and a half in Fort Collins. And we just really appreciate all our Ram fans out there. Absolutely. And then in 2022, obviously last year, you were in charge of guiding what is considered to be the youngest quarterback room in all of the country, which obviously has seemed to work out pretty good for you. In my opinion, you're kind of like the quarterback whisperer of the Mountain West when you really look at the <laughs> resume. It is quite uh, it is quite the thing. But what's it kind of been like working with Clay Millen? Obviously, last year he was named a freshman All-American by Pro Football Focus. Just your thoughts on him. What's he like? He, you know, Clay's – Clay's been a lot of fun to coach already in his in his young career. He's got three years in front of him starting Saturday. So, you know, he's one of these guys that's very enthusiastic about the game. You know, he's always in my office asking questions. He loves 
football. And, and he comes from a football family. His dad played for the Patriots, actually spent some time in Denver with the Broncos where he met his Clay's mom, his wife. I think she's a Littleton, Colorado native. So, you know, there's so much that went behind, you know, us coming here and then Clay obviously following us here. You know, it was just kind of like a match made. Yeah, he's one of those guys that I've only got to, to catch him one time in person so far, but I definitely want to see him some more. He just comes off like a confident quarterback. Obviously, this air raid system works well for him, so definitely excited to see what Clay Millen pulls out. But this year, you guys have a couple that I've seen in the news, some question marks at some positions, one of them being the offensive line. It looks like you guys are going to start four transfers on that offensive line. Is this kind of the most important part of the offensive scheme right now that you guys got to get worked out for week one. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Production starts up front. If you don't have guys in the trenches that can give time for clay to, to find his receivers, you're not going to be very good. Mm. And, and, you know, we know we weren't very good last year and we had to get better. And so I think coach best did a tremendous job of going out and, and targeting some guys and bringing them in that have, have definitely improved where we were at, you know, from a year ago up front. So Really excited about those guys and what they bring to the table. You know, Jacob Garner, who played left tackle for us last year, is moving into that center spot. So he's taken more of the leadership role of the O-line. And that's – I think that was an important piece for us too. We were just kind of a revolving door there last year. And to really hem that up a little bit, I think, makes Clay feel way more comfortable to get his eyes down the field and, and find these targets that he's going to be able to have. And speaking of that offensive line, looking at Kobe Johnson, the running back transfer 5'9", 190 out of North Dakota State. This guy last year racked up about 2,500 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns in his time in the FCS. Your thoughts on this kid? What are you seeing from him so far? He's explosive. He has great vision, you know, and with him and Avery Morrow in the backfield, I mean, I really feel like we got a good tandem duo back there that's going to give people in the Mountain West problems, you know, and then, mm. I mean, should you move on and look at our receivers, but it's really excited about what our skill level is on offense this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One other guy, the, the wide receiver room is great now that I looked at it, but Colorado state's tight end. I want to say his name, right? Dallin, I hope, or Dallin yep. Hooker. Dallin Holker. Hooker. Yeah. This guy last year, or just what's your thoughts on him? He appears to be a very strong athletic tight end. The dude's route running, from what I've heard, is as crisp as it comes for a dude of his size, 6'5", 235. But you guys only had 21 receptions from your tight end position last year. Is that, is that going to be kind of more of use this year? Yeah, so he fills a spot that we – you're right. We did not target very much last year. And, and really, not, not so much that we didn't call targets to that spot as much as just Clay overlooked that spot. Mm. Didn't really feel comfortable with the guys that were in it. So – to bring Dallin into the mix, a guy that's played at BYU, has has a bunch of experience, you know, and really one of the older guys on our offense. You know, you still look at our offense and it's like, man, I mean, Clay's still young. You know, most of our receivers are freshmen or sophomores. And, of course, Torrey's a junior. But Dallin brings something to the table for us, not just as a player and a pass catcher, He's going to be a great run blocker and he's going to be a great leader. He was actually, you know, a guy that transferred in six months ago from BYU and has already earned the respect of his teammates so much so that they, you know, declared him a captain. So, I mean, mm. that wow. just goes to show, you know, what kind of young man he is and, and what he's going to bring to the table for us. Absolutely. Sounds like a great leader to have in the locker room. But let's talk about this game coming up this weekend, Coach. I know you got to just be – in your boots, shaking, excited for this one. It's always that fun uh, for fun first game week. And you guys got it at home here on September 2nd, Saturday, against Washington State. Last year when you guys played Washington State, they did take you down 38-7. to But that was in their house. Obviously, you guys walking into that game had a lot more question marks on your team. I think your offseason this season was phenomenal. So coming into this one, are you feeling much better coming into it? And just overall with the matchup, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, you know, and we always talk on the offensive side, it's all about us. It's not about them. And so what we've done really hard in August, really since spring, you know, summer, summer time, workout times, and then camp is to get that cohesiveness down 
as a unit. You know, you look at last year, it was like always somebody messing up, you know, it was somebody not doing their job, somebody not doing the right detail. So being able to put it all together and be a little more crisp and really clay, just dialing into the little details that are going to really make this offense go ha has really shown up here in the last three or four weeks. And so really excited to get these guys on the field. You know, obviously it's a, a tough football team we got to go against. Coach Dickert does a great job with those Cougs and, mm -hmm. you know, they do a great job on defense. So we're going to have our hands full. So almost per se, you got to weather the storm a little bit early. Right. But, Mm -hmm. really excited to have them in our house. You know, we got them here at home. You know, obviously our fans are going to show out for us. And I think, you know, if our guys get over the jitters and kind of work through it, we're going to have, have a good showing. Excited to come out there. Like you said, I know you said almost going to be a full house. Hopefully it is a full house completely sold out there on Saturday. Guys, come on up to Fort Collins and come have some fun up there. By the way, if you haven't been to Fort Collins, you need to get up there. If you haven't been to this football facility yet, I had the pleasure of touring it about two years ago, and it is absolutely stunning. So come on up and have some fun. But, Coach, I do – I know we don't want to jump to, to the second game of the year yet, but I got to ask you about it because I haven't got to be at this game yet. The CU Boulder-CSU Rams game. Obviously, this time it's in Boulder in this one. Are your boys excited for it? And what kind of advice do you give people about this game? Do you say it's a must-show a must show for this one? I mean, I think it's a huge deal. It's, I mean, it's, it's been a rivalry game for a long time, even though they, we relatively have not played very often here lately. I think there was only on our team, probably a handful, four or five, maybe eight guys that have actually played in this game against Boulder. So, I mean, you know, this is what the state's all about. You know, the states love their rivalries. I mean, when I played at Kentucky, it was Louisville. So, I mean, it was, you know, you're at each other's throats, you know, you, you, you know, you show up on game day and there's smack talking and people are running around and getting excited. So, I mean, that's what it is. You know, that's what makes college football so much fun, you know? And, and so I'm excited to play in that game, you know, and obviously we're going down there into their environment and going to be interested to see what it's going to be like, you know, since mm -hmm. it hasn't been really played in a while, but I know our, I know our guys are, you know, of course, they're trying not to look ahead and they're sitting there, you know, looking at Washington yep. State this weekend. But it, it's definitely on their minds. I promise you that. I'm sure your boys have had this one circled all offseason. Just can't wait to get out there and shock everybody. I'm looking forward to it. I'm expecting a big year out of those guys of a Colorado State. The roster, the coaching, everything just looks great up there. So congratulations to you guys. Wishing you the best of luck. Is there any shout outs you want to throw out there? Any other announcements for stuff going on? up at Colorado State that you want to throw out there before I let you get back to this week one game script? No, just come see our guys, man. They're a lot of fun to watch, and they're going to put, you know, they're going to put it together on Saturday, and we're going to go get this thing done. There you go, guys. That's Coach Matt Mummy up there, offensive coordinator and associate head coach at Colorado State. Make sure you give him a follow on socials at Coach Matt Mummy. And, Coach, we'll talk to you soon. Best of luck this year. Wishing the boys the best. Go Rams. We'll see you guys back here in a few. Appreciate your support, man.